I had a client tell me recently that when they took their new role, their boss said to them, be more resilient. And she was asking how. She took it really personally and she took it as an interpretation that she wasn't resilient. We all know we need more resilience, but we don't necessarily know or get taught how to be more resilient. What we need to learn is exactly what resilience looks like, where it originates and how to practically develop it. So when people learn to see clearly and understand their own resilience, they know what to strengthen and what assets they have. When people learn to see clearly and understand their own resilience, they know exactly what they're looking to strengthen. It's difficult to go somewhere when you don't have a map, but mastering resilience is that map. We're all going to face challenges, both in our personal and our professional lives. So how do we learn to be more resilient? Well, let me ask you, have you ever had your staff catalogue their own resilience experience? in order to clarify the resilience tools that they already possess. See, if we see our own challenges through a new lens, we can apply that filter to our future. See, the central key is reframing our experiences into positive learnings. We can use them as fuel so that we learn how to try harder and how to aim higher, and when the moment comes, to make a strong comeback. I took my resilience tools to the biggest fight of my life, and that did not happen in the ring. See, we learn as we go, and if you see clearly the things that you're learning, you'll take them with you on your future missions. See, we face challenging times, everybody does, but what people often don't realise is that that is their training room. That's the mind gym where their resilience muscles are being built. It just doesn't feel like it at the time. The key is being able to build resilience when we feel exactly the opposite. When we feel like we've been knocked down, getting up is a choice. And when you stand up, you have to make sure you don't have shaky legs. You have to pin all the medals on you from your past resilience and stand up with strong legs. I think there's a simple formula to resilience. I call it the three C's. It's around choosing your mindset, challenging yourself, and taking courageous action. During important times of change, we often feel destabilized, but it's the messages that we choose to tell ourselves that inform our strategic decisions moving forward. In order to be more resilient, we have to be inspired in our hearts to be resilient. We have to know what resilience actually looks like when someone gets up, and we have to know our own resilience history. We need to feel capable and prepared so that when the inevitable knockdowns do come, when change and difficulty and the need for resilience arises, we feel like we have the confidence to stand strong.